Choosing the right socket or tombstone for your light fixture ensures that the fixture works properly and that you avoid dangerous fire hazards. This question is particularly relevant if you're retrofitting your lighting to a different kind of ballast or an LED tube. This video is meant to reflect broad sweeping general recommendations for socket pairings, but there are exceptions. For example, there are T8 plug and play LEDs made to work with rapid start ballasts and program start ballasts requiring non-shunted sockets. Always double check with your lighting specialist or lighting manufacturer to confirm what sockets you need. Let's cover fluorescent tubes first. T12 tubes, which are one and a half inches in diameter, typically use non-shunted sockets. T8 tubes, which are one inch in diameter, can use either kind of socket. When paired with a rapid start ballast, program start, or dimming ballast, T8 tubes typically require non-shunted sockets. When paired with an instant start ballast, T8 tubes typically require shunted sockets. T5 tubes, which are 5 eighths of an inch in diameter, follow the same guidelines as a T8. When paired with rapid start, program start, or dimming ballasts, T5 tubes typically require non-shunted sockets. When paired with an instant start ballast, T5 tubes typically require shunted sockets. Now let's take a look at LED tube applications. T8 and T5 replacement LED tubes that are plug and play compatible with existing electronic ballasts typically require shunted sockets. T8 LED tubes that are direct wire, meaning they bypass the ballast, typically require non-shunted sockets. Similarly, LED T8 tubes that use a remote driver or are plug and play compatible with magnetic ballasts typically require non-shunted sockets. There are options to externally shunt or non-shunt sockets with wires if you're looking to adapt a non-shunted socket for an instant start ballast. But you'll probably be better off buying new shunted sockets to avoid a lot of wiring work, especially if you have a large number of sockets to manually shunt. Additionally, converting a non-shunted socket for use in a shunted application should always be done by a licensed electrician. If you have questions about your specific light product, be sure to contact your lighting specialist or the lighting manufacturer to make sure that you get the most out of your investment and avoid serious risk of using incorrect sockets. Are you wondering how to tell what kind of sockets you have? Watch this video next.